Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design steel connections using RAM Connections Standalone. RAM Connections Standalone is used for the design and detailing of steel connections. It can design individual shear, moment, brace, splice, and truss connection types to a variety of different steel design codes. In this particular video, we will be focusing on the workflow for assigning a fully directly welded connection to a beam splice joint. We will now turn our attention to our RAM Connection Standalone application, where as you can see, we have several different joints that have already been created in our sample model. For this particular video, we're gonna be focusing on designing fully directly welded connections for beam splice joints. So let's go ahead and start by selecting joint number five. Now this particular joint is a beam splice and it has both a shear and moment reaction imposed upon it. Now a fully directly welded connection is a combined connection in RAM connection standalone, meaning that it is capable of resisting both shear and moment reactions. So let's go ahead and start our workflow. In the design tab of the ribbon toolbar, click on the assign icon. Within the connection assignment dialog, you're gonna notice that the filter has already been set to a beam splice since that's our currently selected joint. In addition to that, you'll be able to choose between a basic and smart connection workflow. Now in RAM connection standalone, our connection database is organized by types of forces that each connection type can resist. We need to resist both shear and moment reactions. So we're gonna to go to the combined area and select our fully directly welded beam splice. Once we've selected this connection type, we'll go ahead and click on the assign button. And here we could see that our combined connection has successfully been assigned. In the joint selection area, we will be able to see the status of our connection design. You're gonna notice that the interaction ratio is less than 1.0, and it is in green, meaning that it passed all code checks and did not produce any warnings. Now this type of connection is also compatible with basically an apex joint style beam splice. So let's go ahead and select joint number six. Now this joint also has both a shear and a moment reaction imposed upon it. Let's start our connection assignment process by selecting the design tab in the ribbon toolbar and then the assign icon. Again, we're going to be using a smart connection workflow and we're gonna be assigning a fully directly welded beam splice detail. Now we have two different options. We have a straight beam splice and an apex which is more appropriate for the currently selected joint. We'll go ahead and select this option and then click on the assign button. The connection assignment dialog has let us know that our combined connection has successfully been assigned. And in our joint selection area, we should be able to see the status of this connection design. For this particular joint, our interaction ratio is less than 1.0 and it is in green, meaning that no errors or warnings were encountered during the connection design process. If you would like to review the connection design information further, you can go to the design tab in the ribbon toolbar, click on the edit icon, and then select combined connection. Here, you'll be able to see your connection design report, a DXF view of this connection, and you'll also be able to modify any of your flange and, wel and web welding information. Now at this point, since I already have a passing connection design, I will go ahead and close out of the connection pad and save my model. Now this concludes our process for assigning a 
directly welded combined connection for a beam splice and ram connection standalone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.